Hi Playtime! Today we are going to be writing poetry and I know sometimes writing can be intimidating, especially writing poetry. Um, however, today we're going to start with a really simple style called acrostic. Um, and so all we're going to do is pick a word and write it down the side of our page and then we're going to write stories or phrases or words that connect to each letter in that word to tell a whole story or an entire poem. So I'm going to go and get some paper and a whiteboard. So you go ahead and grab pen, a pe uh, pencil and some paper or you can use crayons or marker or anything like that and then some paper and join me right back here. Okay, so I have my pen and paper here. Instead of a piece of paper, I'm gonna be using this dry erase board and I have some dry erase markers, okay? So first, let's write the name of the poem that we're gonna be making. Do you remember what type of poem I said we're gonna be doing? An acrostic. An acrostic poem. One way to remember the style of poetry is that it has the word across in it, right? Like you're going across the street or across the paper. Um, typically when we think of across, we think of going left or right. Um, but for an acrostic poem, we're actually gonna be going up and down, okay? So our words are gonna be written vertically, okay? So this would be horizontal, and this would be vertical, okay? So we are gonna write our words vertically. So if I wanted to do an acrostic poem of the word, let's say, sunny or sun, we'll just do sun. I write the word vertically, just like this. Okay, so I have the word sun, just like sunshine. And so what we need to now do is think of a word or phrase related to sun that starts with each of these letters. So let's think, when we think about the sun, what types of words or phrases come to mind? Hmm, how about summer? So for the letter S, S starts with summer, or summer starts with the letter S. So let's put summer for our first word. So we can put summer. Because we see a lot of sunshine in the summer. What else? What about U? The letter U. That makes me think of like beach umbrellas. So like when people go to the beach, sometimes when they're sitting in the sand, uh, it's really sunny. So they wanna protect themselves from getting too much light. So they actually put out little um, umbrellas. So I'm gonna put umbrella. Yeah, umbrellas. And those uh, umbrellas sometimes look like big versions of the rain umbrellas. So if you, if you haven't gone to the beach before or seen these when you've gone to the beach, um, they like stick in the sand just like this. And then everybody lays underneath them just like that. Okay, and then what about the letter N? Hmm. What's something about the sun related to the letter N? Hmm. How about next? What comes after summertime? Next is fall. So, we have summertime or, you know, just summer. Umbrellas, like beach umbrellas, protecting you from the sun. 
And then after summer, next is fall. Okay, so there is an acrostic poem for the word sun. Uh, next, we will try something like a name. Doing okay. an acrostic poem of your name is something um, that gives people a really good idea uh, about who you are as a person or what types of things you like or um, what your character is like. So let's try that. Let's do my name. My name is Madison. M A D I S O N. My name's kind of long on here, okay? So if you, while you're at home, you want to make an acrostic poem of your name, um, this will be a good way to tell your mom about yourself or just to tell your friends or your siblings new things about you, things they may not have known before. So all you have to do is write your name vertically, remember, up and down, because that's the way our acrostic poem works, okay? And now I'm gonna think of a word or phrase about myself, about Madison, so that you can get to know me a little bit. Okay, so something about me that starts with the letter M. Hmm. I'm gonna go with middle child, okay? middle child. So I'm the middle child. That means I have a big sister or brother or a little si and a little sister or brother. In my case, I have a big brother named Devin and a little sister named Kimmy. So I'm the middle child because there's one person before me and one person after me. So if you are the oldest child and you have an O in your name, you can put that. Or if you're an only child, you don't have any sisters and brothers, um, you can put that next to O. Or if you're the youngest and you have a Y in your name, you can put that there. Okay, now what about the letter A? What's something about myself that starts with the letter A? Hmm. I'll say avocado. I love avocados. Avocado. Now, if you haven't had avocado before, it's a fruit, or some people say it's a vegetable, that kind of looks like this. I am not an artist, which is why I didn't put that there. And it's green. Um, and if you've ever had like guacamole, it's in guacamole. And then there's like a little seed in the middle, or a big seed rather, in the middle. It's like brown, like that. So it kind of looks funny like that. But next time you go to the grocery store, you should ask um, if you can see an avocado. It's not gonna look like this on the outside, but in the inside. I promise you it looks like that. Okay, now the letter D. Hmm. What's something that starts with the letter D about me? I will say, hmm. Dog, because I love dogs. I have a little puppy and I think everyone should have a dog. Um, they're really hard to take care of though. So your mom or your dad may want you to wait until you're older um, to get one, but I love dogs. So I'm gonna put D there. If there was a P in my name, I'd put puppies because I really like puppies a lot as well. Okay, I, oof, I know exactly what I'm gonna put here. Ice cream, ice cream. I love, love, love ice cream so much. It's so good. So if I get up ice cream every day and have a puppy every day and play with a dog, I, that would just be the perfect day and have some avocados. Hmm, I wonder if avocado ice cream is any good. I don't know, I don't think so. Okay, ice cream, almost done. So S, so for S, I'm gonna put silly. <laughs> because I can be kind of silly sometimes. If you ever come to playtime and um, 
I'm there. Just know I'm gonna want to be silly. I love putting on all the costumes and um, playing dress up and things like that. So I don't mind getting silly and I like to have fun. Just like having fun with all of y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna put silly for S. And if it's hard for you to think of other words, you can always ask people around you, any adults around you as well, what word would you use to describe me? And help um, show them your acrostic that you're working on with your name and help them fill in letters like that for you too. Because sometimes it gets hard um, and you don't know what else to put, but people around you can be really, really good helpers. So for O, I'm gonna put, hmm, let's see. I'm gonna put, hmm. I'm gonna put the word open because I'm always open to trying new things and I'd like to say that my life is like an open book. So if you have any questions about me, you can feel free to ask because I like to get to know people. And when you get to know people, that means that you have to be open to getting to know them as well and to being honest about who you are, just like in an acrostic poem. So I'm gonna put open. Okay, and then the last one is N. Hmm, let me think of something. Letter N. Hmm. Oh yes. Remember, we don't just have to put one word, we can put a phrase. So I know we used next is fall for our sun example, but let's go with, let me pick a different color. Let's go with blue. Um, never wants to, can you feel that? Stop. Playing. I never like to stop playing. It's really hard because when we have playtime, we have to end at a certain time so we can have snack and then get ready for bed so that we can be ready for school in the morning. Um, but if it was up to me, we would eat ice cream all day and play with puppies and we would never stop playing. <laughs> So that is an acrostic poem about me. And I hope that all of you take time to write down your name just like this, vertically. Um, you can write it horizontally too, but you can be different, you can be unique, and do your own thing. Um, but a lot of acrostic poems are written vertically, which is why we've done ours this way. Um, but you can write it however you like and share it with someone near you and ask them to write an acrostic poem as well. All right, playtime, I had a good time doing poems with you today. We'll see you next time.